These sunny days are good for Arvel Price. He's setting spore traps, testing for mold. We cannot pull mold samples when it's raining because it, the rain cleanses the outdoor air and it would automatically it would skew our results. Price wants to know if this mold is toxic. Remember, some mold can make you sick. These results back in three days. The cost, $400, certainly worth the investment for your family's health and considering the cost of your home. Most mold you can see, but there's another danger, invisible radon gas. And since we've started building our homes tighter and tighter since the 1970s, more of that radon has been sucked in through the foundation. The EPA says high levels of radon gas pose a serious health risk. The odorless gas from decaying uranium linked to thousands of lung cancer deaths each year. We have found elevated levels of radon in all the counties in North Carolina. That's why the state now requires buyers to decide if they want a home tested, and it's a good idea to do it. Here are the average levels of radon gas in our area. The yellow counties average the lowest levels, the burnt red orange, the highest. Enough radon present, the EPA recommends repairs, but keep in mind, radon is random. A home could test high on one street and have nothing the next street over. There's a home radon kit that's under $20. Everybody should test their home for radon, whether or not they're in a zone one, two, or three area. Above ground heating oil tanks like this one are not a problem, but buried oil tanks are out of sight and out of mind. It's important to ask the seller if they have one. The issue is, has the tank leaked and then contaminated the soil? If the tank is not leaked, then there's not a problem with it. Concern is that the leaking tank, the oil will seep down into the water supply. There are a lot of buried heating oil tanks in older neighborhoods, mm -hmm. and usually they're not a problem, but if there's a leak, you've got to follow specific regulations by the state for cleaning it up, and that cost can range anywhere from $1,000 way higher than yeah, that. Yeah, that's sometimes expensive. Sometimes $20,000. Well, the mold was, for people. The, finding the mold or testing the mold was $400, you said. Yeah, but it's worth it. They, the family found out, we got a phone call this afternoon from Arville, and they got the test backs already and he found out that that is not toxic mold so that family is relieved tonight but those things are, you really want to look out for them because your home mm -hmm. investment is huge certainly is